Hi friends, Cosplay Vicar here. New episode. Just started a foolish project to start making my own R2-D2. This R2-D2 will have lights and sounds. Will it move? I'm not making that commitment. Um, I'd love to think that I might get it to move eventually. It will mean that my 3D printer is going for the next year or so. Uh, almost non-stop so we'll we'll see kind of how, how that all heads really anyway I've got the dome here and uh, the dome started out as seven uh, 3d printed pieces just like this printed uh, on my uh, yeah 3d printer uh, then carefully glued them together and primed them finished them been using this Halfords uh, silver metallic uh, paint. It's done a great job, but the dome still looks like it's made of plastic. And I wanted to use a, a technique that I have used before on some of my blasters uh, and other costume parts, some of the, the pistols that I've made, uh, which is this rub and buff. So this is simply silver leaf rub and buff. And what you do is you put it on, you rub it and you buff it. So let's see if we can turn this 3D printed plastic looking dome for R2D2 and turn it into something that genuinely looks uh, metal. So I have to punch the rub and buff. In some ways friends, this is a how did it go video rather than a what I did video. Um, but here we go, Just a bit of rub and buff. You only use a small amount. You put it on. There we go. The key thing is the amount of rubbing that you end up doing. Rub and buff is a wax based. Um, to call it really it's not paint but it's uh, wax based with small amount of um, color pigment which depending on which you're doing so I've used gold quite a lot in the past the more you rub it in the more you polish it the more it looks like polished metal now my dome I don't want my dome to be perfect my c3po c3po r2d2 dome I I want it to eventually look like it's really dinged up and um, it's going to have a lot of uh, weathering on it, not overly weathered, uh, but I want to go for that Return of the Jedi weathered look, uh, New Hope kind of look rather than the um, episode one, two and three, which R2 just looked very new, very new. I've had this conversation with my son. He's like, you should do an episode three, R2. No, because the key is about uh, doing a droid that's brand new is that everything has to be utterly pristine, whereas actually you can hide your crimes in weathering. It's just changing it from it looking like it's a 3D printed plastic. It's giving it a real metal kind of sheen to it. Now, I don't know if the camera will really pick this up, but what it's doing is changing the surface so it just looks more like a polished um, real metal lid. Now, have you used rub and buff? Is it something you've used in the past? Is there a particular rub and buff technique that you've used that you think works really well that I should be using right now? Also, is there a rub and buff that you've used that you really like? Or a like a different variation, uh, another manufacturer or something like that that you think is very good? There we go. So it's coming together. I'll carry on and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end.
There we go. R2's dome covered in rub and buff. And uh, I don't know how it's coming up on the camera because you can never tell uh, until um, I'm kind of watching it back. But the lovely thing is it's gone from, from my perspective, looking very dull, um, like a matte silver to something now that looks much, much more like a uh, metal, something that's uh, genuinely metal. So once I get all my other pieces on here, hopefully it will start to pop a little bit. There you go, rub and buff. It's a very, very, very simple process. And uh, the only thing I have problem with rub and buff is that it, I seem to seem to dry out. Um, it n never lasts me too long. So I end up buying a new one for most projects because it tends to only last a few months and then it's, it's dried out. But um, that I'm really pleased with. There you go. I might add a little bit more, do some more polishing. But there you go. The effects of rub and buff on an R2 dome. This project will be taking months, 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 years. This is this is one of those projects that do not expect to hear about it again for any time soon, because it's just going to go on for a very long time. Uh, but there you go, R2's dome. If you want to see later videos on me putting together my R2, then uh, do the usual, like, subscribe, and all of that jazz. This is just a little test print that I'd done. You can see, I mean, quality is not great because it wasn't uh, primed quite right, but that's the color it was. That's now what we've got. So the dome has obviously changed color with the rub and buff. But until next time, have a great time cosplaying and making, and we'll catch up soon.